Hi, my name is Abriana, also known as Black or Writing, and on this channel we are on the journey to becoming published. So, hey you guys, uh, it's been about like two weeks since I've last posted. Um, I wanted to touch bases with you guys for this vlog. I think it's just going to be a vlog style. Just how life has been nowadays, like I really can't sit down to film like I would like. So this is just what I have, you know, working for me right now. But, um, so I don't know when this is going to come out. Uh, it's December 5th. I probably could have just, I probably just lied to y'all. But it's Monday. Um, so December 5th, Monday. Um, what has happened besides work? Yesterday was a really, really good writing day for me. I wrote from an, for an hour. Um, from, I think it was like from 7 to 8 or 7 to like 8.15 or something like that. And I wrote... 942 words um in my fourth person point of view so yes <laughs> if you heard me right i see i have to like i want to touch base with you guys so i can update y'all with how my manifestors project is going so even though i really didn't do nano like that and i did absolutely no type of writing i just always kind of like thought about my story as writers tend to do and there was one interesting character that she was a side character and she really is supposed to help my other characters plot but then i was thinking i'm like hmm i think i might want to make this person a main character because her storyline is pretty interesting and i feel like it tells the other side story to mental health because you guys know my book is kind of focusing around how magic and mental health are kind of feed off of each other um and y'all don't know that i now have four characters really not four characters it's really three main characters it's three main characters and a fourth pov that comes in every 10 chapters so this point of view person starts off the novel then he doesn't come back until another 10 chapters and then another 10 chapters and then like another one um so so you can kind of see like his point of view for why he does the things he does. Um, so I thought that would just be like really interesting and needed. Um, as far as my writing session went yesterday, I had a really enjoyable time writing. Um, and I guess it's because I haven't been writing like like that. And then also one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Kahila Harry, but I think she changed her channel night her channel name, so now it's Words by K. She like posted a video randomly and I was like scrolling the internet at like twelve in the morning. And then I saw a video posted. I was like, oh my gosh, she's back. So then that got me back into watching my favorite author tubers because I've just been staying away from YouTube, Loki. And I haven't been like indulging in author tube and book tube and all that stuff lately. But I was on YouTube just to, I don't know, I was doing something. It was like paper related because I didn't feel like reading the article. So I, I wanted to like watch a video on, um, what was it? Qualitative and quantitative data for my paper. And I was like, I don't feel like reading this damn book. So I thought I would just go on to YouTube and listen to people talk about it. And then I could be like, oh, I kind of have a frame of reference. So anyway, that's why I was on YouTube at like 12 in the morning. But I saw her post a video and I was like, oh my gosh. And then I watched it and then that kind of re inspired me to want to start writing. And so then yesterday, which was Sunday, I wrote and it felt amazing. Um, the pressure was not there. The expectation was not there. It was really enjoyable. Um, and I think it was more interesting because I wasn't planning to write this character and put her in as a main POV, but then I kind of just dove into her storyline more and that just kind of like revigorated me. So that's just what has been happening since my last video i posted two weeks ago um and yeah so i don't know when this video is gonna get posted but i will post it probably sometime next week i want to document like i really want to write every day um and if you guys don't know i am obsessed with like planning and planners and new years and goals and all that stuff even though half the time i think it's a whole bunch of fluff but then the other time, I'm like, oh my gosh, when you follow through with your plans, it actually does work. And I was watching a YouTuber, uh, what was her name? Um, 
the organized money and she was talking about her word for the year like what her word was and i was like what the hell is that um and hers was something that she put in her planner when she was organizing so every time she opened her planner she saw her word and she's like i'm gonna go for that and i think i needed that i think i needed to see something like that um 2023 is gonna be a big year i feel like for everybody i mean a new year is always change and stuff is happening and i expect a lot of changes coming next year and preparing for that um school book wise and all that stuff and i'm just like i just need to do it like i just have so many things on the in the back of my mind that i kind of just have on pause because i don't know how to like move forward with the things that i want to do um and I say I do these things and I want to do these things. I mention it, but I never actually do it. So now my word for next year is just do it. And that's why I started writing back again, because when I was thinking about my manifesto project, I was like, okay, what if I did write her in, but I didn't like it. And then it, I kind of had like this aha moment. I was like, it's okay if you don't like it. You could just take that chapter out. It's completely fine, but just write it. You actually want to write it. You're, you know, excited about it so i might as well just do it so i did and i wrote half of the beginning part of the chapter it only reads for about three minutes because i have gone back to scrivener i think what i'm going to do i am going to multitask with scrivener and then plotter so i can have my acts plotted out especially now that i have four POVs. i'm like i really need to like plot this out so i'm going to be going between back and forth like Scrivener is where I can like write it like my Scrivener is so aesthetically pleasing right now I love opening it and then I see the font and then I see my characters and I'm just like oh I can't wait to write so it was really a really good writing session for me yesterday um so yeah so future plans um for the upcoming month until January I just want to write every day and then I want to document it probably in like this vlog style because that's just the way I feel like I have more time to do things these days um and it doesn't seem as like pressured or professional like I feel like when I have when I have my camera sometimes or I'm filming on my phone so I feel like I have to have a little bit like professional like I gotta be like gotta have the nice lighting and the seat and like the whole background set up and then with this vlog I can just kind of just talk to you guys how things are going with me now um and I kind of like that a little bit better so yeah so we are back at writing we have our word that we're gonna we're gonna live by 2023 is just doing it we're just gonna everything I want to do I'm just gonna do it I'm not gonna think about it like I have some surprises that I'm planning and I'm just like, I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to ask for any validation and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go from there. So I will see you guys later on in the week and also later on in this video. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long I've been trying to get my phone to stay propped up on like my tripod <laughs> Having this big phone, I thought it would be nice, but it's giving me a, a lot more headache than anything. But okay, we're not here to talk about that. So hello, today is Tuesday and I wanted to give you guys a quick update before I go to work. Um, first things first, y'all like my coat? I got it, I got it for Black Friday. It's really cute, sorry. I've really been digging this coat lately. Anyway, but that's not first things first. The real important thing is um, what I did last night. Um, regarding my manifestors project. So I didn't do as much writing as I did plotting. So before Monday the 5th, I don't know the dates, <laughs> Monday the 5th, well no, I started it on Sunday, December 4th. Yeah, yeah, that's when I started back writing. So Sunday, December 4th is when I started back writing. Monday last night um, was when I tried to do some more plotting planning. So if you guys don't know, but I think I mentioned it before, <laughs> but it's been a long time since yesterday. Um, I'm using both Plotter and Scrivener. So Scrivener is gonna, where I'm going to be writing the document completely because it's it's better than writing it in Plotter. Plotter is just to write the scenes and get everything in order so you can see it in a linear fashion. Um, 
and that, that's pretty much I think that's really all it is it's like pretty much a template and then scriveners where you can like write it and see the page breaks and all that stuff and just make it aesthetically more pleasing to get you to write more so anyway so I'm using the two together so since I have added a third point of view a third point of view character and I've started her chapter off she's third in the exposition of starting the manifestors project but she's just the first chapter I've been writing because I've kind of been falling in love with her um I used last night to kind of plot out my exposition to my inciting incident so since I'm using three point of views I only have really one book um that has three point of view characters and that's a, a children of blood and bone um and all the other books that I have are either one person point of view third person or they're like first person point of view or they have like max two people point of view so since I now have three point of views in Loki of fourth he kind of comes in and out in the beginning every every ten or so chapters um I was like I really need to like plot this out and so in my plotter I decided my first chapter all the way through my ninth will be my expositions kind of like explaining it so it starts I'm going in linear order because I know with Children of Blood and Bone, Tommy Adeyemi didn't do that. It was like two or three chapters with Zaley and then Amari came and then like Anand came. So then we like, oh, there's three characters in this. With mine, I'm doing them that, well, not, well, first character point of view, second character point of view, third character point of view. And I want to try to keep it consistent throughout the whole book. So my first point of view starts off with my... I guess they're I guess really they're all leads in this project because they all have their own point of view like technically they're they're all different aspects of this world that I'm just trying to explain so it starts off with my first character um, I changed the names so I'll probably update the name changes and the image changes for you guys a little bit later next year because I'm, I'm kind of prone to changing stuff off the whim but I really like the names that I have for these characters now it fits and it's kind of more je ne sais quoi, I feel. So I'm starting off with my first character, going to my second character, and going into my third character. And I want to keep that consistent. At the end of that ninth chapter, the plan is to introduce that fourth side POV again. Because none of my three characters are going to meet that fourth character until the inciting incident. So he kind of starts it off like, it's kind of like, uh, what you call like a um not a preface it's the uh the prologue yeah so he's gonna have a prologue and then it's gonna start into the main book the first one through nine chapters the tenth chapter we're gonna bring that character back right that's the plan we're gonna bring him back um you won't know I'm, I don't think I want you to know I don't know I I'm still planning things out but once everything gets finalized because it will get finalized because I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna start writing that's that's my word for the year that's my motto just do it i'm doing it i'm just gonna write it um so last night i planned what i think i want and so tonight i'm gonna finish writing my third main character point of view because like i said i'm in love with her and i just didn't know what i wanted her to do after she had this conversation with um her lady in waiting and i'm like well i gotta bring her dad in because the issue is with her, her dad um and what he found out so <laughs> Uh, I didn't know where I wanted that to lead, but I know it all needs to lead to a somewhat campaign re-election type of thing. Her father is like the main minor king, kind of being controlled by the major, major king on the main continent. But we're not going to get into all that. I'm just trying to put those pieces together because I want this to be like a three book series. So it's a lot of like wheels turning and planning and all that stuff it's really fun it's i enjoy it um but i didn't really think far ahead into what i was going to do with the third main character um like how her first chapter was gonna gonna kind of go i kind of got the dialogue and the bits and pieces just to explain where she asked where she's at currently in the story um i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start each chapter with each character already telling you what their problem is like with my third main character, she's already starting off the chapter. She was like, you know, it's been a week since my dad found out about me and so and so. And he hasn't talked to me and blah, blah, blah. So you kind of know her dad found out she was sneaking around with some boy. And it's like who the boy is. It's like the most important part that comes later on in the story. 
<laughs> um, so I think the first chapters of each main character's POV, I'm just gonna say what their problem is, just to get it out the fucking way. Like this is their problem, and this is how they think they're gonna deal with it, and yada yada yada. Then other characters get thrown into the mix. Um, and also what I've noticed, like the side characters are pretty interesting too. The side characters and like the side side characters, like. Right now, all the side characters that I have in my profile are at, at somebody, at somebody. And then in parentheses, it's like, this is so-and-so, this is so-and-so. Um, I haven't found, like, names or, like, pictures for them, but I'm in the process of doing that. So, yeah, that's all that happened yesterday on Monday. So, today is Tuesday. I'm about to head to work in a little bit. Um, I gotta have a busy day after work, so hopefully I get some writing in. Um, the husband and I, we're going, like, a a dinner for with some friends later on so I mean it's, that's gonna be fun but I was like oh when am I gonna get my writing in but that's okay I'm gonna get it in I have my writer's notebook that I'm bringing to work with me um while I'm at the facility so I can jot stuff down but um I really want to plan out my third character's point of view chapter so when I feel like I finished it I'm like okay we got the ball rolling like we've accomplished something we've wrote a chapter now let's keep the ball going so all right, I will touch bases with you guys later on in the week to let you know what's been going on. All right. Hello, it is Wednesday. It's also Abriana again. Hi, if you're still watching the video, hopefully. <laughs> if you do, thank you so much. It's Wednesday, December the 7th. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Is it December 7th? I'm pretty sure it's December Or the 8th. Anyway, I have two care conferences. That's why I'm here at my facility early. That's the only reason why I'm pretty sure it's just that. I don't know. This is really bad. Anyway, y'all didn't come with, y'all didn't come here for like a work update. Y'all stayed to watch for the writing update. So I got your writing update. Um, I did not do any writing yesterday. I kind of figured I wasn't going to do that. We went out with some friends. Um, then came home at like nine and just totally went to bed. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to write anything. But but I was still, you know, actively thinking about some things. What I have been doing, I've been watching um, uh, Heart Breathing's How to, you know, write a story with multiple points of views and then also um, writing scenes for a chapter. I think that's something that I really want to like. Um, I want to get down before I continue to write a little bit more like I have the scene started it's going to be a chapter that's only one scene but you know scenes have to have like the different parts in it to make it complete like it has to be forward moving and right now I'm at the start but I, I don't know what to well I know it has to be forward moving but I just don't know exactly what I want to do yet to make it that forward moving process um so the reader is more or the reader is still interested in reading about this character in this world so that's what I've been kind of spending my free time doing just learning and reading about that I also watched a video of I'm gonna put her picture here but she's like how to play it's like how to plot a novel in one day I don't want to necessarily do that but I want to plot what's gonna just happen in this first book like I have the beginning and end I have the the um what you call it like my concept how magic is connected to like mental health but I really don't necessarily have the plot in total if that makes sense like I have pieces of it but I don't have this is a story about so and so so and so and so and so and their journey to this and this and this and how they encountered the things and I know you kind of that's kind of like the synopsis some for when the book is done but still I feel like I need my plot more or I need to get that a little bit more finalized like the idea and the concepts are all there but just trying to understand you know what the hell is going to be happening and what you should expect as the reader and then mainly for myself as a writer like what am I about to write like I have these ideas so I just need to make sure I write it in there um so I've just been um working with that I've also figured out where's my writing notebook uh here it is uh in my writing notebook that I still have that I still use I haven't been using it as much but I started cracking it back open this week actually um, I now know everyone's character journey, like their personal arcs. So, well, at least for two, I pretty much have. I don't know. I don't want it to be generic. That's, I know it won't be generic because I'm going to be coming at it with my own originality, but I feel like the 
their character art might be. It's a little bit basic. So I have one character who is a people pleaser and all this stuff. But um, her problem is, like, you know, that she's not happy. So, you know, through that, through this course of the story, she's a person who kind of lets life happen to her. She doesn't do life for herself. So that's what I want for her to happen. Like, I want her to be able to take control of, like, her fate and her stuff and let people know, like, I'm pissed off. I'm not happy. And I ain't going to keep doing stuff that's not happy, even when it comes to your family. Like, even you got to let your family know, I'm not happy. And I ain't going to be around no motherfuckers that don't make me happy. Um, so that's one character. The third, well, the second character um, is another uh, female character. Um, she's more, her character arc, I guess, would be more of, she's really angry right now. So I w don't want to say forgiveness or ex maybe acceptance, but she's very angry. Where I have her at in the story, um, it's been a year since her father disappeared this is the character that i talked to you guys about before but i changed her name so i don't want to say the names just yet i want to keep it still on the low low but i really do like them so it's been a, i've figured out that timeline sorry i started rambling so it's been a year you know since her father went missing and since then he had like this conspiracy against him about being involved in the assassination attempt and then since then she's lost her family house that her family itself has been ostracized her one best friend that she had um was put on the registration list so now her family has evacuated the city and now so this character has nobody and she's mad and she's upset um she is a character that does a lot of internal a lot of internal thinking but she's very explosive and she also has high ex expectations for herself to get her family out of this situation since no one else will so she's very 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 hard on herself so i guess her character arc i don't know i'll probably have to do more digging into it but that's like her personality and at, by the end of this i want this character to face her frustrations which she's gonna end i i want her to end up facing her frustrations which she's going to do um and then I guess learning to let it go. Maybe that is it. Maybe I want this character who has all this built up anger and resentment because of life circumstances, what has happened to her. And she takes control of her life. But in the actions in which she does is um, she's putting herself in danger. Like she's trying to get fast ass out of her situation. And she's not really thinking about what she's doing. She's kind of just like going forward and doing it. Kind of like what I do sometimes. <laughs> so she's she's doing that. And I kind of want her by the end of this first book to be able to reflect on what she did. Like, okay, I, I understand it's not, well, it kind of is their fault, but you know, how adults can be. Um, and then also she has this very strong bias against the manifestors because she believes she's in the situation because she's associated with them. So she fucking hates people with magic um but in the end she's gonna have to work with someone who has magic right and so it's like oh okay um so that's the second point of view character and then the third point of view character is my guy um and he at the start of the book i want to say hmm he at the start he's in he's in deep shit in a sense he's he doesn't have control of his magic his magic is kind of like an impulse that makes him do things that he doesn't want to do but he can't necessarily control himself because he doesn't know the coping skills in order to do that <laughs> bring my job into that anyway um so i believe his personal journey will be facing kind of similar to the last character kind of like facing his problem um, he knows he has one, um, but he uses substances to alleviate um, the issues that he has, right? And then when he wants to be a part of this organization, he's also, like, I feel like he is in more shit than my other character, but de depending on, they're all really in, but my third character's not in deep shit, really, she just she really isn't. But my other two characters, they're, like, in deep shit, and I'm just trying to figure out how to make their character arc come full circle with the situations that I'm putting them in or the situations that they're putting themselves in. New text message so, from husband. Sorry, my husband just texted me. Hopefully that didn't go off in the video because if it did, that's really annoying. Um, so yeah, so I've just been writing in my journal about that. Um, 
So yeah, that's just the update for Wednesday. Tonight, I really, 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 I am writing today on God. I am writing. I'm not going to be distracted. Fuck work in these case notes. I will do that. <laughs> I will do those tomorrow. I do have to study for my classes, though. I do have an exam. So I will have to do that. Um, and then after that, I will reward myself by writing because I've gotten back to enjoying it. So that's a thing. Um, so yeah, so I'm about to just do some more doodling in my notebook, eat my breakfast, and then go in there because I have some care conferences that I have to be a part of. So yeah, I'll see y'all later for the next update for this week. All right, so I am back. It is a Sunday. You wouldn't know that unless I told you. <laughs> it's Sunday December 11th, right? Okay, I have, I have my computer here so I can know what time of the, so I can give y'all the right date. Anyway, so I just finished writing um, all of chapter three and I love it. I love the character. I love the lady who she has to interact with, her lady in waiting. Like, I absolutely love it. I feel like I set the relationship that this character has with her dad how it's kind of tumultuous oh because there's something wrong with their relationship the daughter can feel that there's something off but she doesn't know what it is from the conversation that kind of happened with her lady in waiting i feel like her lady in waiting knows but that's gonna be like a reveal like at the end of the or in the you know one of those climaxes moments like this is the truth type of thing um but the character has this feeling that something's just off and no one's telling me what it is but yeah so I just finished writing that. I wrote a total of 2,216 words. Um, Y'all can't see it. I guess I could zoom in. Can I zoom in? I don't think I can do that. Anyway, whatever. Um, and then in this manuscript, I have um, 80,000 words as my goal. Now my real goal is more around 100,000 words. And I believe I can get there because now I have three point of views and then my plus my fourth one that kind of goes in and out. Um, so I definitely believe I can get there, but I want my baseline to be like 80,000 and then go from there. So yeah, I really have fun writing this chapter. I put some metaphors and some assemblies in that bitch. I said, look at me over here writing. I feel like a little bit of a writer. Um, and then side note, side note, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I dyed my hair. I am now blood moon or burgundy. I would have been the color of uh, George R.R. R. R. Martin's other HBO Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, like little spinoff series, but you know, they canceled it, so whatever. But anyway, so you know, new year, new Abriana, you know, just trying to get that into fruition, right? Right? This is my look, my 28 look. I'm gonna be 28 next year. This is my look, like it's gonna be my author look. Like when I take my photo for, like, you know, how they take the photo of the author and they're just holding their book like this, my hair is gonna be red or burgundy for that. So I saw that, I had a vision of it, and I was driving. I was like, fuck yeah, I gotta do this. So anyway, I dyed my hair. But back to what I was talking about. Um, wrote a really good chapter. And what I did, what really helped me, I believe I mentioned this before with Abby Emmons, um, writing her, her writing scenes. So I used that concept of her scene making with the, um, let's see, where is it? Because I have it in only her chapter, but I have, uh, where is it at? Like, I tried to get the template of the, um, damn it, what is it? Oh, that's a lie. It's not in my Scrivener. I have it in my plotter. Duh. Because I, okay, so I'm using the plotter to, like, plot out everything. So, from chapters one through nine, I said before, will be the exposition to the inciting incident. So, I have the, yeah, the setup, the crossroad, and the outcome of my chapters kind of lined up and I have them like bullet marked like the setup is this is what's currently happening and she's dealing with this the crossroad is will she confront her father about this feeling she has or not and then you know like the outcome is you know whether she decides to do but you don't know that until the next chapter because I kind of left it a little bit on a cliffhanger like her father is coming in and she's like oh the bells are ringing and all this stuff and there's like a cool air that just swept into her room like you know dad's home and stuff like that because they're really I'm trying to show how their relationship is a little mm, like they had a living relationship but they don't have it anymore so she's trying to fix it which I made that her 
weakness. Um, and one of the, it wasn't for the scene, but it was uh, for character arcs. The, I think she called them her three W's, like their weapon, weakness, and want. And this character's weakness is she cannot self advocate for herself. Like she ain't pretty, pretty much ain't got no backbone. But like her weapon is she's very empathetic. She's passionate. She's creative. She's like a soft. She's a soft person, and that's her personality. But now she kind of has to like switch her personality in a little bit at the end of this book. So we'll see. But anyway, I finished writing chapter three, and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to just recap. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. This is the first week of me writing since pretty much anything. And even though I really didn't, I did not write Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, I still plotted some things, changed some character image, found some names for some people. Um, I added two more characters, side characters, but they're still important because, you know, our main character interacts with them. Um, so I got to find names for them and all that jazz. Um, so yeah, like it, this week went swimmingly with riding. Like I feel like I'm back on that horse or I'm back in the wagon of just riding. Cause I, I feel like giddy and excited. Like I'm happy I wrote that. Like I was just thinking about that all day. Like I cannot wait to write. I had to wait until after the football game, of course. Cause you know, I had to, I had to zone in. But, um, yeah, I, I cannot say enough. Hopefully I can continue on this path and what I'm going to do with videos from now on will probably just still be like the vlog type of thing. You probably won't see a lot of writing, but you'll be getting updates. Um, so yeah, so I have written one chapter. It was chapter three, the third person's point of view. I think I'm going to work backwards and then I'm going to write my second person's point of view chapter, their exposition in the first person because it starts at the top of the day and it's ending at that evening type of thing um and then it goes into that night right and then it goes back into the next morning so i'm just, my idea is this whole book is an event that happens over two weeks a little bit more maybe 16 days like once the ball gets rolling two weeks is when everything has to be like done and set in stone um Hi, Nala. Nala says hi. Oh, they can see your head. They can see it. They can see your head. See? Anyway, why do you, what's on your nose? Anyway, um, so I'm going to end this video here. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Share if you care. And I will be back with another video real soon.